Last year, the Caribbean experienced a severe type of natural disaster that was clearly driven by the onset of climate change. Sargassum seaweed washed up on our shores in much greater quantity than ever before, completely blanketing a number of beaches and coastal areas. This week, we will take a look at the effect this event has had, given it's likely to happen again, and what strategies are in place to combat the problem. To find out our answer, we visit the Institute of Marine Affairs in Trinidad. So my name is Lori Leelam. I am the officer in charge and community education officer in the Information Center at the Institute of Marine Affairs. The Institute of Marine Affairs is a multidisciplinary research institution and uh, the work that we do is in the marine and coastal areas of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we respond to things like oil spills and fish spills when the reports come into the investigations to try and find out uh, maybe the, the source of it or to try and give them an idea of what may have caused the, the incident. We also uh, monitor the um, erosion of beaches and bays around the country. So sargassum is a is a seaweed. It's a, it's a brown, a brown algae. And um, this amount of seaweed is something very new in Trinidad and Tobago. It's while we do have species of that seaweed here. The type that has been coming short in the past five years is something new to Trinidad and Tobago. And when it comes into an area, the amount that comes in, um, it disrupts uh, normal activities like fishing, because uh, fishermen take the kind of things like their boats, probably, and even the negotiated, negotiated to get out of the tank of the city causes a problem to them. Coastal uh, communities also have to think about the smell of the sargassum and the sargassum cake. On the 1st of July, I woke up to, found, to find that the entire bay was inside was covered in sargassum. Okay, so, and, 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 I mean, the shape of the bay that we So the work that we do is, is encompassing looking at the coasts and, 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 and seas around Trinidad and Tobago. So it was um, responding to the uh, cause that fishermen said this thing was affecting them, but we didn't have any research project on it. So uh, what the IME is doing now is that this TV has been coming in show five years now in a row. And it is, to me, signaling a change in the status quo of what's happening out in the open ocean. It's something new, and so we have to take a direct look at, look at it. The IMA has begun coordinating a response plan that enlists other stakeholders and agencies, such as the Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management. By collaborating with others, the short-term goal is to be able to access satellite imagery and oceanographic modeling technology to understand where the seaweed mats will end up. With a forecast available, fisher folk and coastal communities can better prepare for the disaster.